So you've probably seen something like this on the internet and you've been wondering, well, how can I do this in Cinema 4D? Okay, so first I will create this cube. I will press C to make this editable and go in this polygon mode and select one of the sides and drag this by holding Ctrl and Shift to 200 and then again for 200. And next I will select this side and I will move it upwards so that it looks like a Tetris uh, shape here. Next I will create a plane. I will increase the size of this plane and drag this uh, cube, uh, select this cube, I'll go in the model mode and drag it up. So now I can create a dome light and I can drag in an HDRI which I had prepared before and if I press uh, render you can see the image here. I will drag this so that the sun is facing this shape and I can see any reflections or refractions or transmissions that will come through when I make a material which I'm going to do now and I'm gonna drag this over here on this cube not cube but whatever is the shape and I will create a I will uh, make this weight go down to zero for the diffuse uh, and I will increase that refraction and give this a color which is I think um, this type of candy looks best uh, with something like an orange orange color here so now one more thing I will increase this roughness a bit so that it's not as uh, sharp the image is not as sharp when the light comes through so now I will select this cube I will search for subdivision uh, surface I will hold down alt and press enter and now as you can see it becomes smoother but it's almost like it's too smooth so I will disable this for now and I will select the cube and press us which is gonna subdivide this and as you can see um, it changes this subdivision uh, surface result here and I will do this one more time so it becomes even more like the original shape but with smoother corners here so now I can add a collider uh, body tag to the plane and a soft body tag to this shape and if I move it up a bit and play the animation you will see that it falls down and it really uh, behaves like it was like a soft, I don't know, uh, candy-like figure. So next, if I want to add sugar cubes to this, I will create a, a cube. I will make the size of this cube uh, 5 by 5 by 5. I will create a cloner, hold down Alt, press Enter, and dra uh, change this to object and drag this subdivision surface in here and as you can see these small cubes already appear on the surface of this shape now I will increase the amount of these actually first I will change this to multi instance so that your computer doesn't die and you ch I will change this count to something like 2500 and as you can see it's kind of uh, all over this surface here now I will create another material which is going to be a glass material and I will change the I will actually apply it first and zoom in so you can see how the how this looks and now I will change the roughness of this uh, up to all the way to 1 to 100 which is 1 in redshift terms and now as you can see it looks a little bit more like small sugar cubes here so now I can go in here and click this fillet and if I zoom into one particular cube uh, I can see how this affects it. I will leave it to something like uh, 0.7, yeah, 0.5. And now actually what's happening here is these cubes are kind of um, not really on the surface but they are kind of intersecting and going in the middle. I do not want that personally so I will create a plane effector while my cloner is selected and I will go in this position I will change this Y to 0 and I will increase the Z so that these cubes are only on the surface they are not really intersecting this and this looks um, I think better now one more thing I will do with this cu these cubes is I will select the cloner I will find a random effector and I will once again turn off this position and turn on scale 
uniform scale and increase this. And if I zoom in again, I will see, you will see that these cubes are changing sizes, which is more natural. And I will also increase these rotation randomness so that it's even more natural. So now, if I drag this cube up, um, I will go back to frame zero and now drag it up and I play the animation. You can see that all of these smaller cubes follow this and they will stick to the surface. So now I will create a material for the floor and I will make the floor go back in Z axis a bit so that uh, it looks a bit better. The sun comes through. So now all that's left here is to create more of these shapes. And for that, I will do the same thing as I did before. I will simply create more of these cubes here by doing the same thing. Okay, so now I will duplicate this material. I will give this something like a green and this one uh, I will give a blue color and for the last one I will, I will make this red or pink. Let's just see how this looks. I will add this to the cube here. I will add this one to the other cube and the last one also to this cube here. So now I can ar arrange all of them so that they uh, can fall on each other and make this uh, very kind of uh, fam familiar Tetris shape. So now I think this one goes here and this one, I can rotate this, but I think I will have to rotate it this way and finally this way and as you can see they fit together uh, so now I can um, let's just say I drag this one up first then I will drag this one up then I will drag this one higher a bit higher than the one before the last so now if I give all of them I will copy this soft body tag and place it on other shapes. Now if I play the animation, as you can see, they all fall down and they kind of uh, bounce off each other. But now, one more thing I want to do here, I want to create this glass um, case for them. So now I will just uh, make this cube, I will increase the size of this cube so that it's bigger than they are, and I will make this editable here in a moment. I will increase the size again. I will make this editable and I will select the top side and press MW, not M, yeah, MW, and uh, extrude inner here so that it creates these um, walls for this glass um, container. Now I will hold down control again and drag it down. I will go in the side view so I can see how far I need to drag it. And now if I add a collider body tag to this and create a new material, which is gonna be a glass material, I will apply this to the newly created cube here. Now if I look at the animation, I can see that these cubes fall in the place and they don't uh, kind of uh, fall outside of this uh, glass container here. So now if I render this image, as you can see, this is how it looks. So that's it. If you have any questions here, you can write them in the comments, you can share your results. Uh, I'm very happy to see them and you know, I will see you on the next video.